Okay, just a an update on the C-band receiver. I've had it running now for a couple of months. Unfortunately, I cannot demonstrate it with any off-air audio. Um, where I'm situated, we get about three aeroplanes a day pass overhead. Um, so there's actually very little air traffic in my location. However, take my word for it. It works, and it works really well. So, this is the box I put it in. As you can see, it fits in here quite snugly. I generally just throw it in the car and uh, listen to my travels. Now, a number of you wanted to see a circuit or a schematic diagram for this. So, um, hopefully... If I get this right, you'll be able to study it. Um, we start off with the RF amplifier. Uh, sorry, the, the Super Region circuit itself. I don't have an RF amplifier. I decided it really wasn't worth the effort. There's very little radiation from this, and the sensitivity is certainly more than adequate for what we want. So this uses a BF199. But any VHF or even HF transistor would, would do this, an NPN. Um, it's just your standard Super Regen circuit. We have a BC547. This is the preamplifier stage. Basically it isolates the rest of the circuit from the, the Super Regen stage. And we have a high gain stage here. And it's also a low pass filter. We don't want the quench frequency from the Super Region stage actually getting into the audio stages else it's going to overload them, something terrible. And we have a emitter follow orders, the equivalent of an emitter follower here. This gives us a low impedance, a fairly low impedance stage or output impedance so that by adjusting either the volume or the squelch sensitivity we don't, one won't inter interact with the other. So this is basically our squelch circuit here. This is a squelch detector amplifier. Uh, we have a very small value capacitor here, which basically only allows the high frequency hiss components. The super regions, as you know, they hiss something terrible off, frequent, off signal. And we use this to detect the fact that it's off signal. And this hiss frequency is rectified here by a voltage doubler and it goes into a Darlington pair which actually switches the audio switching diode on and off. Um, the minute a signal is received, even a, a very weak one, the hiss level decreases rapidly, rather like a, a, an FM detector. Uh, and the quietening effect lessens the voltage that's detected in the voltage doubler. So these transistors begin to turn off. And that collector voltage is sent down, which either forward or reverse biases a diode. This is the squelch gate. The audio is taken from the emitter follower stage. It goes into the diode. And depending whether the diode is forward or reverse bias means that the audio will or will not appear at the anode. And this simply goes down to the... Uh, where are we? hard doing this through a camera. Um, yeah, and that's AC coupled direct to a simple audio amplifier stage through a volume control, which is that little fellow there. Um, gives about probably half a watt of audio, so uh, it's more than adequate to listen to aircraft. Now, because to keep the component cost down and complexity, um, all the gain stages are supply referenced so we need a fairly good uh, voltage regulation to make sure that the squelch doesn't drift so we have here a, a, a low powered 5 volt voltage regulator which regulates all the all the stages and keeps them running at a known point operating point and it remains stable so depending on whatever voltage goes in I, I usually run this on 12 volt. 
uh, what else is there to know? Uh, yeah, this is the Darlington stage. All this is required to do is either fully on or fully off. And the Darlington gives you that. It's very high gain. Uh, all the transistors are just simple audio NPNs. Uh, there's a PNP here in the output stage. But um, any, anything will do. I use five. 54, uh, BC547s, BC557s, there's also 2N, what is it, 3094, 2N3, what's the opposite of PNP equivalent of a 3904, I think it's a 3905, is it, don't quote me on that. So that's the circuit diagram, so presumably if you pause this video, you'll be able to make a copy of this. It's actually not, it's got, I think, 10 transistors and the thing, but it's not that complicated, really. And uh, the coil itself is just, uh, which is the one here, which for aircraft bend is on this daughter board here. Um, can you see that? <coughs> Get down into there. There it is. There it's what one, two, three, four, five turns of uh, probably about uh, four or five mil diameter, but it's pretty easy to um, stretch or, or reduce or, or squash the turns up to, to get the coverage you need. The tuning capacitor I'm using, you can forget vary caps, so a total waste of time. Um, that's a Yes, based ceramic tuning cap. It's I think it's about five pick of threads, zero to five somewhere around there, and just your controls for the squelch and volume on off. So you yes, it's pretty simple. Um, I'm not geared up to give you a a diagram of the PCB. It was just one I I made with a pen, and then can just etched it. It's not super critical, just, just keep the leads to the RF stage short as possible. It'll still operate with long leads, but it won't go up that high in frequency. So yeah, that, that, that's, the, that's the thing. That's the, that's the, uh, the Super Regen Airband Receiver. So I hope this will help anyone that wants to copy it. I'm not really in a position to give you a lot of information if you have trouble getting it going, but... It's pretty simple known technology. These things have been constructed over the years. The squelch is probably a bit unusual. Not too many of them have squelch, but you're basically without squelch. It's useless because you know you, you go nuts with the constant hiss, background hiss. And with squelch, you don't know. You could be listening to a multi-thousand-dollar superhead. Um, for all you know. So it does, it, it It makes it quite a good experience just to have it running in the background and and I know here, as I said, we don't have a lot of aircraft traffic here but um, it's, it's quite neat to suddenly hear it burst into life and you look up and you'll see a, a, a trail in the sky and, and you think, well, isn't that amazing how a thing can not only fly but it can talk to you at the same time. Okay, that's it, I hope this is of help.